All right. Well, I swear this was the game. Didn't love Grant. Oh. Help Fernando Frog find all the mates he can in <clears throat> Frog Song. <coughs> it's mating season, and Fernando Frog has to sing to attract the females. Use the levers to change the pitch and volume of Fernando's song and see how many dates he can get. Move the volume slider to make Fernando Frog louder or quieter. Okay, so I wasn't wrong then. Okay, so I feel like the, the larger he is and the louder he is, the more he like attracts like things that want to eat him. Oh. Don't worry, we can always try again. Or he just breaks shit. One more game? <laughs> yes. Great! Okay, so obviously he's too big for this. More bass. Yep. Oops, don't worry. We can always try again. One more game? Great! More bass. That big frog sure does have a deep voice. Oh, we got the ladies coming in. Oh, a lot of ladies. Oh my god. We hit the mother load. Look, you just made Fernando's mating season a singing success. I see that. Look at all these girls. Oh. See? Deeper is really a keeper. Oh, damn. That's what he said. Hey. Oh, God. Okay, but yeah, I'm guessing the smaller he is, the less attention he's going to get. Oh, okay, he's still getting some. Good for you, Fernando. Good, 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 good. This one's sticking around. Okay, I was going to say. Girls are still interested, that's great. Oh, so it's okay. Damn, so the louder he is, the better it is, really. <laughs> Again, that's what he said. Oh no! We attracted the wrong thing. Careful! You want Fernando to be loud and large, but don't go overboard. That's fair. Do you want to serenade the frogs? Great! Absolutely, I do. So let's make him tinier. Okay, let's see what happens when you make Fernando quieter. How's he quieter? He's just smaller. Nice. Well, he's still got laid a little bit by one. Well, Fernando, I guess you could do worse. How dare you? He is in a monogamous relationship with one awesome female frog who obviously loves him. No matter what. moral of the story is is that if you're a male you can get laid 
But if you're too big and loud, then you'll attract some real predators. Here they come. Look at all the female frogs Fernando is attracting. Is there a way to get any more? Again. Oh no. Oops. Don't worry. We can always try again. Do you want to serenade the frogs again? I'm good. That was fun. Thanks for me, Fernando, Mrs. Fernando, and all the tadpoles to be. Woo! Cool. Let's get out of here. Our story takes us back to the understory. Okay, let's talk to Tim. I can't wait to draw all these shapes and colors. Look around for things to record in our rainforest travel log. Okay, now there's a few things I didn't click on, like this little bug here. There's also like footprints here and animal dung here, and also there's a place to like magnify here. Beetles in the rainforest come in all shapes and sizes. Some are up to three inches long. Some have large pincers, and some even have antlers. Not a fan of beetles. To be perfectly honest. This is a game. Some animals hide so well that their tracks are all you'll ever see. Let's see what we can see about the ways animals hide. That is, <laughs> if we can find them. Yep, it's a game. Oh, no, we're going, oh, we're magnifying. Oh, shit, I was wrong. Whoa. These guys are in disguise, which is to say that some plants and animals survive by looking like something else, either something predators won't notice or something that frightens them off. I really like the bugs that, like, disguise themselves to look like poop, like these ones. Wait, that's not bird poop. Those are small caterpillars. What a great disguise. Who would eat bird poop? That's pretty tight. So, how am I supposed to draw these creatures if I can't even tell that they're there? Look carefully, Tim, and use your imagination. In the rainforest, the harder you look, the more you find. This mimic really has her act down pat. She's even swaying slightly as if she were a leaf moving with the breeze. An award-winning performance, I'd say. And if she can hide all day, she's got the night to eat and lay eggs. It's so cool. Nice. Let's leave you like that. Butterflies, moths, and especially Katie did, have learned to disguise themselves as a bunch of different plants. Some look like bark or dead leaves, but this one looks like a chewed up leaf. Now that's what I call going undercover in the understory. Careful where you grab a tree in the tropics, or you might find yourself on the business end of a giant tropical ant. They bite and sting really hard. Good thing these inch-long antagonists are usually found wandering solo, looking for food. They eat leaves, dead insects, and nectar from tree seedlings. Okay, what else? According to my research, the animal kingdom is full of con artists and fakes. I think they'd prefer to call it creative survival. Besides, anything goes when it comes down to eating and being eaten. For real, though. Careful, that's a fair to land viper, and it's the most venomous snake in the entire forest. Whoa, that's the snake known as the two-step. Because if it bites you, you might walk two steps before you die. Damn. It's crazy. According to my research, some species of millipedes can grow up to four inches long. 
That's a lot of creepy crawly. But when your name means 1,000 legs, I guess you need a lot of room to stretch out. <laughs> millipedes have a lot of legs, Tim, but not quite a thousand. Even the biggest millipede only has about 400 legs. <laughs> that reminds me of a family guy skit. Wait, that's not bird poop. Oh, we've already done this. Those are small caterpillars. What a great disguise. Who would eat bird poop? The tiger wing butterfly is very beautiful and very poisonous, so predators avoid eating it. And I bet that lots of other butterflies that aren't poisonous have evolved to look like a tiger wing, so predators will avoid them, too. You're both right, except for one thing. That's not a tiger wing you're looking at. It's a Danaid egg fly, one of many tiger wing imposters. Okay, one more thing to click on, then we can go and um, magnify. Now you see them. Now you don't. Oh. They're mimics. They're camouflaged. And here's your chance to play hide in species. Never mind, we're playing a game first. If you're on someone else's dinner menu and you can't run, your best bet is to hide. Put together the pieces to see some hidden species. Click the puzzle piece under the magnifying glass and drag it to its place on the board. Click the arrows to see other pieces of the puzzle. I don't like the music. It's really creepy. Hard. Well, I can't do anything with this right now. on, dude. Yeah, this music is really creepy. It actually kind of reminds me of, um, the, 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 the Carmen San Diego word game. That's a really, really fun game. I actually kind of think I want to do that one next, not gonna lie. Because it's fun. You hit all the animals. You can hide with the bank. Do you want to play a game? If you do, click easy or hard. Or click exit to say goodbye. Is this a turkey? Okay. Gotta go? Okay, you can try again later. Try again later? I fucking excelled at this game. Whatever. It's time to leave the undetectable and go back to the understory. Okay, let's click on the dung and then move on. Sloths bury their poop in tiny holes by the roots of their favorite trees. Scientists think this helps the tree grow more tasty leaves for the sloth to eat. Now that's recycling. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go along to next page. And then we're gonna go upstairs. Bum, 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 bum. That jaguar's had enough of us for now. Let's get back on the bus. We're going to a different place right now. Where are we? We're at the canopy? All this wind and all that cacophony can only mean that we're in the canopy, otherwise known as the top of the rainforest. Okay, well, 
as cool as that is, I think I'm going to actually leave off for tonight and then pick this up another day because I'm tired and I think I've been playing this for two hours. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.